Did you know that Mexico is the most popular place to move for North Americans looking to live abroad? In fact, it's estimated that over 1 million expats live here. If white sandy beaches, beautiful mountain regions, tons of culture, and year-round sun are your idea of a good time, then you're going to want to stick around. Today on Across the Globe, we're going to look at the cheapest and most desirable places to live or retire comfortably in Mexico. Number 1. Mazatlan According to U.S. News & World Report, the city of Mazatlan is one of the best places in the entire country of Mexico to retire. Located on the Pacific coast and nicknamed the Pearl of the Pacific, Mazatlan offers a quintessential Mexican beach life. This city has 11 miles of oceanfront, including a boardwalk and access to plenty of beach activities. The city center was established in 1531, so there's also tons of history here, along with great culture and good food. Plus, there aren't too many expats here, at least not yet. So this is a good option for those of you who are looking for a more locally authentic way of life. And it's affordable. According to International Living, you can find a home or a condo here for somewhere in the $200,000 range or a two-bedroom rental for about $800 to $1,000 per month. All in, you can expect to pay anywhere from $1,350 to $1,560 per month to live here. Number 2. Merida if safety is one of your top priorities along with affordability, you might want to check out Merida. This city of about 995,000 is located in the region of Mexico that has one of the lowest crime rates in the entire country, so you can rest easy moving here. Merida may be most known for its burgeoning tech and entrepreneurship scene. In fact, it's currently recognized as one of the top places in the whole country for innovation and entrepreneurship, and the local government has been offering incentives to try and lure entrepreneurs and startups. And the measure seems to be successful, as some U.S. and Canadian tech companies have since established presences here. But if you're not an entrepreneur or into tech, there's still plenty to enjoy about Merida. The city has tons of arts, culture, shopping, and fantastic restaurants, Plus, Cancun, with its international airport, is only about a three-hour drive away, making this more accessible internationally than some of the other places on this list. In terms of cost, you can expect to spend anywhere from $500 to $2,000 per month on housing, depending on what you're looking for. However, all in, you can easily live off of anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 per month and be more than comfortable. Number 3. Puebla Puebla is great for those among you who are looking for big city living at its finest. With a population of over 6.6 .6 million, Puebla is one of the largest cities in the entire country. Located in east-central Mexico, Puebla is a treasure trove of history and culture. Originally established as an industrial center, it's perhaps best known for the battle between Mexico and the Second French Empire in 1862 that took place here and that modern-day Cinco de Mayo celebrates. Puebla also has a great sports community as it's the location of the home field of soccer team FC Puebla. Now let's talk about the cost of living. According to Nomad List, if you're an expat, you can reasonably live a middle-class lifestyle on about $1,135 per month, where a one-bedroom apartment, for instance, can run you as little as under $350 monthly. Number 4. Ajijic Ajijic has a huge percentage of U.S. and Canadian expats, many of whom are attracted to Ajijic for its natural beauty, quiet way of life, and affordability. With a population of only about 11,000 and located on a lake surrounded by verdant hills, you'll definitely get your fair share of peaceful, scenic beauty if you choose to move here. And while Ajijic itself may be small, it's located only about an hour drive from the city of Guadalajara, making big city amenities accessible. Ajijic is also great for those who want to enjoy the moderate but not too hot temperatures that Mexico's inland has to offer. Here, you'll enjoy highs in the 70s and 80s and lows rarely dipping below the 50s. And of course, being on this list, you can safely assume that it's affordable. 
expect to spend anywhere from $400 to $1,200 on housing each month, with total monthly costs ranging from $1,200 to $2,300, depending on how large you're living. Number 5. Playa del Carmen Originally a fishing town, Playa del Carmen has quickly developed into a major tourist and increasingly expat destination. It's also one of the fastest growing cities in Mexico, and with its classic beach vibe, warm weather year-round, and great parties, it's pretty easy to see why. Here you can enjoy a little bit of everything. There are classic ocean activities like boating, diving, snorkeling, or fishing. There are plenty of restaurants and shopping, and you're located only about an hour to an hour and a half from Cancun, so it's easy enough to be able to use Playa del Carmen as a home base. The cost of living is also still relatively affordable given this city's increasing popularity. You can get a decent rental for about $1,200 per month, and according to International Living, live off of anywhere from $2,165 to $2,180 per month. Nomad List, however, says that you can live even cheaper at about $1,700 per month. Either way, it's probably less than what you're paying now. Number 6. Oaxaca U.S. News & World Report calls Oaxaca the art and cultural capital of Mexico. For starters, Oaxaca's Spanish architecture is set against the breathtaking mountain ranges that surround it. You can go on day hikes through mountains and valleys, past waterfalls, and even past Zapotec ruins. After a day exploring the great outdoors, head back into the city for Oaxaca's world-famous mole. And in the fall, you'll be blown away by the epic Day of the Dead festivities that this city throws. If Oaxaca sounds like your kind of place, you'll be even happier when you hear the cost to live here. Known as one of the most affordable expat areas in the entire country, you can live comfortably off of only about $1,100 per month. Number 7. Puerto Vallarta In recent years, Puerto Vallarta has become an incredibly popular destination for digital nomads, retirees, and tourists alike. Chances are, you've probably already seen pictures of this city's white sandy beaches and turquoise waters all across the internet. And there's a reason for that. This town's scenic beauty is pretty photo-worthy. Here you can go boating, swimming, whale watching, and snorkeling, or eat out at some of the fantastic restaurants in the city. It's also a great middle ground for those of you who want some of the amenities you may be used to, as Puerto Vallarta has an international airport, solid medical services, and is considered one of the safest cities in Mexico. Now, I will note that it's definitely more expensive here than some of the other places on this list because of, well, everything I just mentioned. That said, you should be able to live off of less than $2,000 per month and still be pretty comfortable. Number 8. Guadalajara Located on Mexico's west side, Guadalajara is one of the largest cities in Mexico, with a population of 1.4 million in the city center and over 5 million in the entire metro area. There are lots of finance firms, tech firms, and even a university based here, making it feel like a sophisticated urban metropolis. And, fun fact, it's the home of mariachi music and has exciting cultural events throughout the year, like the Guadalajara International Film Festival. Because of all this, Guadalajara was named number six on Travel and Leisure's list of top cities in Mexico and South America. What's better is that it's affordable, with Nomad List reporting that you can spend about $1,200 per month all in to live here. Number 9. Guanajuato Located about one and a half hours away from the popular tourist destination of San Miguel, Guanajuato is great if you're looking to escape exactly that. Throngs of tourists. That's right, the city of Guanajuato is just off the beaten path enough that you can have a truly immersive experience and really live like a local. Located at an elevation of 6,700 feet and surrounded by mountains, Guanajuato is one of the most scenic cities in central Mexico. There's tons of art culture here due to the presence of government offices and the local university and it's even been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its impressive Spanish colonial architecture. 
I will note though, that the altitude and location means that it can be quite a bit colder here than in other parts of Mexico. Finally, International Living says that this is one of the most affordable places to live in all of Mexico, as you can comfortably get by on about $1,500 per month. Nomad List says this number is slightly higher, but not by much, at about $1,700 per month. Number 10. San Cristobal de las Casas U.S. News & World Report calls the city of San Cristobal de las Casas one of the best places to retire in Mexico for several reasons. Founded in 1528, this city has tons of history and beautiful colonial architecture for all you history and architecture buffs out there. And at an altitude of 7,000 feet, you have breathtaking views of the nearby hillsides. Luckily, the altitude doesn't mean cooler temperatures due to its location on the peninsula. San Cristobal de las Casas is a great mid-sized city at about 215,000 people meaning that you get some of the amenities that come with living in a city, but without too much of the hecticness that can come with some of the larger cities on this list. And it attracts a lot of retirees, with the majority of the population being 40 plus. And lucky for you, it's affordable. According to one digital nomad, you can live here for as little as $1,100 per month if you're an individual, or $1,900 per month if you're a couple. Nomad List lists this number as being even lower, saying that you can live a middle-class lifestyle here for a little under $850 per month. What about nine other countries where you can live big for under $2,000 per month? Watch this video to learn about that.